All right, it's been a solid week of uh, preparation so far. Uh, beautiful day out here today. The last couple of days has been warm, uh, but guys have been working hard and uh, concentrating on ourselves and our team and trying to get better. Um, and looking forward to this opportunity. With the turnovers, then, has that been an issue in practice to where you can tell it's getting better, or is it just a matter you got to go out and win games? Yeah, it's much much more difficult to tell during practice. I mean, we can't obviously unload on them with the shots that you see on Saturday nights. We can't do that all week. Um, you know, there are some physical parts of practice. And, um, you know, we've talked to the defense when we do go good against good to try to emphasize that. But it, it's not the same as full live bullets. So we just got to work the technique, overemphasize it. And guys got to take care of their business, take care of themselves, take care of the technique. Mark, do you care that it all range on Saturday? I'm just, you know. I don't, I don't, I can't control. I haven't no, have put one bit of thought into that. I mean, we practiced in the rain when we, when the rain was here. We got probably got more practice in the rain this year than we have last couple of years just because we had rain without lightning. So, uh, but it is what it is. Mark, you've had different teams that have responded differently in big game situations. What is it about this team that makes you think they'll keep on an even keel? Or do you think I mean, that? we'll see. We'll see. This is a new opportunity. I mean, there's nothing that this team has done that would lead me to believe that they wouldn't. They've been business as usual all week. You know, they've been, you know, going about their business and working and working on the things we need to. So that's the only indicator that I have. You've been able to win some of these kind of kind of program changing wins since you've been here, starting all the way back with Mud Debris in South Carolina. Do you guys view this one as a potential since it is a top 10 team to kind of elevate the Kentucky program a little bit more? We don't look at it like that at all. I mean, we, we, we can't take that approach. I mean, our approach is one of the last things we talk about is our belief system by, by our preparation. I mean, what are we doing? How are we working during the week? We only gain confidence by the way you practice and prepare and who you are. We have no control over the opponent, you know, so I don't look at that at all, uh, you know, as, as far as how you phrase that, you know what I mean? Would it be a big one? Of course, I think we all know that. I mean, it's a very good football team that's a top 10 team. Yeah. Mark Grant was talking yesterday about what a great game Mark Pond had at South Carolina. How important is he going to be for like going up against the team that runs the ball so effectively. Yeah, he, he's, we, want, we we got to see that at Marquand each and every week, and he's really worked hard this whole year. Uh, he did put together probably his best performance a week ago, and, and as far as being that consistent for a lot of plays, and uh, I'd love to see him to continue because we're going to need him here this week. Do you anticipate Todd Grantham to put the ball in Will's hands, basically say beat us, you know? Uh, they have some good, really good cover guys, so I'm sure that, you know, they're, they're, they're going to – I mean, any, anybody that plays us know that, that you know, we want to try to take away the run, you know, first and foremost. And, uh, so uh, we've got to be able to put the ball up in the air and, and move the ball. What have you seen from those guys that have come back with the six players? Pardon me? What have you seen from those six guys? Are you encouraged about them? Just, yeah, I mean, just, you know, I didn't see much more today. Um, I talked to you when after Tuesday's practice. So we just had one more day yesterday. Today was a walkthrough. So, uh, um, you know, more it was more reps, but I, I really have no update on that. We'll see how it goes. Is everything finished from a legal standpoint in regard to that? I mean, is there anything else that could as far come as up? I know. Is that done? As far as I know. It's good. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. Mark, this is a big week. I mean, this is the type of game and week that you've been working for all the time that you've been here. The fan base is really jazzed. Uh, have you been able to kind of step back and kind of just savor the moment? I know you're in the heat of battle. But... No, no, not at all. No, I mean, just, we, you know, no, I don't look at it like that at all. I mean, I just, I Marcos, just, you have a lot of guys in future classes, junior, sophomore, maybe coming in for the first time. How important are games like this in terms of making kind of a first impression uh, on future recruiting classes? Well, I think that, definitely helps. I mean, anytime you have an atmosphere like we're going to have in here Saturday, like I said, I'd love to have it like that every week. And, um, um, you know, it, it definitely helps with recruiting and and uh, it'll help if we play well. Your 
changed them pretty good this year, winning those close games, one touchdown, one score type games. What does that say about this team? And does it obviously be that kind of situation? Again? Well, again, I talked about it last week. I'd like to see it with the two-score game, but it didn't happen. So uh, <laughs> I, uh, uh, yeah. I'll take it any way we can get it, as long as it says W at the end. Uh, you know, uh, I don't. I don't think really. And you know this, at the end of the year, nobody really looks at all that. They simply look at whether you won or you lost. That I didn't get any credit at all for some of those tough losses I had. Years, so. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, I'll try again. Yeah. Mark, you seem relaxed today. <laughs> yeah. do, do you think the team uh, is able to kind of savor where they are? And, and I really think we're at a point in the program, you know, that, that we, you know, it, we talk about it constantly. You know, I, I, you know, you respect the game by the way you prepare. You know, whatever happens on Saturdays happens. We do all of our work during the week. And uh, yeah, of course there's adjustments, there's play calls, there's things that happen in games. Um, but you know, you, you, you have to live with the result if you're doing everything you can. And so I've been, you know, swinging at this for a long time. And it just isn't the next opportunity. And truthfully, when I tell the players this, and, and we're the same way, if you want to play in big games, you just got to take care of what's in front of you. And that's not coach speak, it's the truth. You know, you can't play in big games if you don't take care of whatever you got in front of you that day. So for me, this is still just kind of right in the middle, towards the end, I guess, of the work week. But I mean, there's just, you know, things to be done and getting, getting, getting ready to go. And I think, but the players and the coaches in, you know, we don't look at like this, this some big match. I mean, this is just the next opportunity that's in front of us. I mean, you could, it, it, obviously I'm saying this with respect because you don't have to get too far in front of you, but I mean, take a good look. I mean, I mean, I mean we got a lot of challenges, you know what I mean, for the rest of the year, so. All right, folks, thank you yeah. very much.